Three, two, one. What is up, my friends? Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter. And I haven't been to my local Goodwill in a long, hot minute because I just they haven't had anything. It's been pretty, pretty dead in these stores, but it's been long enough to where I kind of just want to go in and check really quick, see if I get any kind of luck. Back in the day, there was luck, not so much anymore. But let's head in, check it out, see what's on. Check it one time, boy.
Back in Corpus Christi today at the Target here, the only Target actually on SPID. And we'll be getting down, looking at wrestling figures, uh, die cast vehicles, possibly uh, Jurassic World stuff. We're gonna see if they have anything clearanced. So let's go ahead and head in and check it out. Yeah. Yeah. I was a flag to you, Oh, gotcha. <laughs> like your tattoos, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, did you get it here? Uh, a lot of the more, it's been about 12 years since I've gotten a tattoo, but yeah. I got them all at, uh, in Flower Bluff, mostly the, oh, the newer sure. stuff at that, uh, 
I can't even remember what it's called, but as soon as you enter the bluff, it's on the left side. It's like an okay dog bar. Yeah, they they own a uh, Axes downtown as well. He owns like three or four tattoo shops. The oh, guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's about getting one pretty soon. My first stat. Yeah. I got a. I'm doing my what's my brother. Oh, got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. Like a memorial piece or something. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Just like a tribute to our family where we come from. Yeah. See, that's something worth having. Yeah. So me for and my sure. brother wanted to do that as a like a family tradition, if you want. If yeah, you everybody know. gets the same. Everyone gets something. That's cool. You know. Or yeah. At least have like a common thing. It, right. If you don't want a big one, you get small. Yeah, just something whatever. that's kind of like the family crest or something. Yeah, for to... sure. That's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, but we're forming it with like like the uh the dragons oh that's cool deal. that's cool so, uh, yeah yeah that'd, that'd be neat simple. yeah yeah <laughs> forking up a lot of money if i was really thinking about it that's though. it yeah <laughs> but it's worth like, it because yeah for sure i know what you mean <laughs> so i've gotten a lot of crap that i've really regretted not putting any thought into it so it's good to think about it and it'd be family oriented yeah it's really good I'll get one of those, I'm not sure. Oh, these uh, build the, yeah, the, the Bandai, like, I yeah. Yeah, after you build them, can't really do much because they're pretty fragile still. Yeah, <laughs> so it's just like they just sit there, like they look cool, but like man, <laughs> they just sit there, do nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I hear you. Yeah, those are cool. I kind of, yeah, those are fun to build. They're they're real popular too, especially those, those Gundams you were talking about. I know yeah, a lot of. A lot of got, folks like, love the that. New animes, like I'm making Gundam like style figures. Oh, that's cool. See, so, like Vegeta, like if it's Dragon Ball, like yeah, if they have you can make the character. And just, you can like, build the character with it. Yeah. I wonder if they're like pretty much the same size as like the Dragon Ball characters you can buy. Yeah, Probably. if they're like five or six inch at least. So. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. I mean, the boxes are kind of big, but I mean, they have sheets of parts, right? So gotcha. Yeah. I think you put them all together. They're probably around this size or maybe this or something. Yeah. Minor. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> well, you have a good one, man. Yes, sir. You too. Appreciate good luck. It. Take you it too. easy. Thank you. <laughs> you too, man.
$18.93. Okay, I'll save a few bucks. <laughs> All right, so out of uh, Target, and I'm going to be hitting up the FX Game Exchange. I sell trade today. And you can see it says vintage. It says video games, toys, comics, movies, collectibles, video game repairs. This place, I'm always looking for vintage games and toys. Let's head in and check it out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you don't want to say one thing and. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do.
All right, my friends, so had uh, the opportunity to run into Corpus Christi today, which is an hour away from home, and uh, hit up a couple stores, and I wanna go ahead and show you my pickups. Uh, Target, I ended up picking up this Isla Nubler escape set. Uh, I definitely needed this because it has Hammond in it. He's like one of the most important characters in my opinion, and uh, they didn't come out with a vintage one, so I couldn't really afford the one they came out with for, I think it was a Comic-Con exclusive, but this one is just as good. I'm happy to get it. Plus, uh, we get uh, the main lady from the original, um, drawing a blank on her name. Let's see here. It's gonna be Ellie. There we go. That's right. Sattler and John Hammond. So that's gonna be what we picked up. And we got two Velocal wrappers that come with it, which are pretty awesome. This fits in really well with uh, the Legends collection, Legacy collection I'm picking up, and uh, a lot of the dinosaurs. For better reviews of this guy, make sure to go check out my buddy David Luker. He is kind of one of the foremost experts on this stuff. Aside from picking this up, I went to the uh, game exchange place that we have there, FX Game Exchange, and they do uh, collectibles, video games, old toys, vintage stuff. And I picked up a couple items. First one I got, this is 1996 Star Trek First uh, First Contact by Playmates. Uh, these are amazing looking figures. They're a little bigger than the normal Playmates uh, figures are. These are a lot bigger, so and I really like them, so I think I'm going to go all in on this wave here. I picked up three that they had there. This one, the Borg, member of the Borg Collective. He looks incredible. The sculpt's amazing. The height, I like everything about it. Here is the series. Let's see here. So we have Captain, Luke Picard, uh, and then you got Picard in Starfleet spacesuit. So there's two of him. We got number two, William Riker. You got Data, which looks great. Beverly Crusher, the Commander, Geordi LaForge, Worf, uh, Deanna Troy, awesome, the Borg, which we have. Zephram Co Cochran, which he was the creator of the warp drive, if you remember. Lily, also look cool looking. The back of the card has a little rundown on these guys and the accessories we pick up. So super stoked to have landed him. So that one is the board. Next one I picked up is going to be Zephram Cochran, which I think is super awesome looking. Look at the height, they're almost like six inches tall. He's got a lot of detail, really cool figures. These are way better than the, in my opinion, of the originals. So the most lethal threat to humanity existence returns with a new starship and strategy for conquering Earth. Huh. Very cool. Let me make some space here. And then third, I picked up card in the Starfleet, Starfleet space suit. I'm not sure if that helmet comes off, but really cool looking character. Super happy to have picked up these three. I'm just really into them right now. Okay. And I also picked up this big beast of a man, which is Beast Man. This is a, actually from Super 7, they did their kind of retro throwback line as far as, they had the classics as well. But I was super stoked to have landed him. He's loose, but he's complete. I don't know what it is. I mean, they do look like the originals, but they almost have like a claymation kind of build to them at the same time. He has his little armbands here with the spike. I think are real cool. He comes with uh, his whip. He's got like a little necklace there. I don't know what that's about. And then he's got all his armor. He is like really tight and in great shape. I'm really into these guys too. I will pick these up whenever I can find them. Just really stoked about them. I have, now I have the original Beast Man from like 81, I think it was. He was in the original line. And I, now I got the Super 7 Beast Man and I also have the Motu Origins Mattel Beast Man from, from Walmart. He should be about the same height as the original. Yeah, just under six. Very cool looking. So this is gonna be my haul. We're gonna have <clears throat> the really cool uh, Ellie Sattler, John Hammond uh, pack there. 
And it has that uh, ribbon that says when dinosaurs ruled the earth, I think is really cool as well. Plus our Super 7 Beastman. Very stoked to have landed all this. So this is gonna be my haul from the hunt. This is Kevin, the tattoo twin, reminding you never go up that hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all take care, God bless. Pew, 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 pew. Peace. Yeah.